I respect Mahmoud and his values, and I don't want him to change as far as what he believes. But now that I'm here, we need to talk about it and figure out how to compromise or meet in the middle so he can respect who I am and accept who I am. That's all. Hi, honey. Mahmoud. Hi, my love. Oh, my God. Oh. Honey. Hi, honey. There you are. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Can I hug you? Yes. I'm going to go to jail. I know. Don't worry. Oh. Uh, I love you so much, oh. honey. How are you? I'm so good now. Oh, I'm so happy to see you, so you too. So I wasn't sure if uh, when I arrived that I'd be able to hug Mahmoud or not. I don't know if you're even really allowed to show uh, that much affection here. But at the same time, I really wanted to show my husband how much I missed him, and how much I love him. I think it's normal we do that when we are like at airport or like somewhere. Like it's normal we do, like no problem here. Oh, OK. Yeah. So, how are you, honey? I'm good. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so happy. How are you feeling now? I'm good. I'm now a resident of Egypt. Are you, you happy about that? I'm a little nervous, but uh, yeah. We will be good. Okay. okay. It's a really, really long trip, as it always is. But I'm really happy to yeah, be here. Yeah, I'm with my so husband. happy too this time I didn't hear it. Oh, I never want to come here because when she tired, oh, the first thing she told me, I don't want to come here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you have a lot of stuff this time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you want to stay here? Baggage would be like uh, the indicator of how much I want to stay. Is that what yeah. you're me? <laughs> I think you get the most stuff there now. <laughs> so I feel like, oh, my, uh, my wife is going to stay more this time. You're worried that I'm not going to stay? Uh, you know, yeah, sometimes because she would love to change your mind a lot. Yeah. Because maybe tomorrow you wake up, oh, I hate Egypt, I need to leave now. <laughs> That's not what you do. Okay, my love, can you just close your jacket, please? Why? Because I think your chair is more small or something. You're <laughs> <It's> so rude. <laughs> you said so rude? Yeah. Okay, thank you. It's just the first time. I just yeah. got here. And you have yeah, to... so later we can talk about I'm so rude in this. I don't even want to argue about this right now. Don't making this more hard on me, okay? Please. I didn't make it hard on you. I will take the potatoes. The hot food. Yeah, you can have some. Yeah, I need to wash my. You need to wash my hand in a way. I need to wash it. 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 I need to after a long day, it can be extremely overwhelming for me, uh, a person who's like very introverted and used to living alone in a quiet environment, to have really loud all of the time. The kids are talking, the adults are talking, and and, I, and they're like all just talking, and I don't know who's talking to who sometimes, and it's just like. My mom made but I'm not. Ahmed, give me and then, uh, of course, they bring out a plate of fried potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like In Egypt, they eat a lot of, uh, of fried food. And every time I come here, I just get like really sick from every day eating fried things. And though it's, it's very, it tastes wonderful. Oh, super. You mean? It's just a lot for me. <laughs> We hope you're happy here. Oh, shukran, thank you so much. Bikini is so hard to shoot. Yeah. Different language, different culture, everything yeah. different. Everything. But when you inside this country a long time, you can buy by yourself vegetable and do everything. I hope like so. Fatma. Yeah, like, like yeah, she takes some time, but now it's okay. Now it's stronger than me. <laughs> My sister-in-law, Fatma, she is from China, and she's adjusted so much better than I have. She covers her body. She wears a hijab, and she lives like an Egyptian. 
I'm, I've always been curious as to how she's been able to do that so easily. Tonight is my first night back in Cairo with Mahmoud, and the day has been long and arduous. How are we feel, sweetie? Tired. I'm I know. Tired. It's a long, really day. long day. Yeah. But at the same time, when I decided to move back to Egypt, we realized that we had a lot of problems, that we still loved each other, and that we were going to try our hardest to work through those problems. It was very uncomfortable for me, and it's not easy for us. But that's what we need to do. I'm so happy to see you. I know. This is the most important thing. I'm happy to be here with you, and I'm really, really glad that we're trying to make this work and everything. But you know that Egypt is super overwhelming for me. Like I know. you can hear, you hear that. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. The, the noise outside. And I know it's too much for you. Yeah, it's too much. But like, I need you like handles that more. I will How try. much more stuff are you gonna ask from me? Like, I will you know? try next time going and I can see make them quiet. Yeah, I'm not asking you to do that. I'm just saying like that there has to be a, like some peace, right? Like I know, honey, but they won't enjoy too the kids. Uh, well, we can like find an apartment where it's not so noisy. Okay, honey, it's about time. You just need to live here, okay? I just need to live here yeah, for a while. Yeah, like see what the life rail here like. Yeah. All your problem is well gone. I don't think that's true, but... Leave me, because after that you can hang out. You not need me, like, around you to get anything you need. So you can do all this by yourself. Right. When Nicole was here to get married, we found an apartment, we get some stuff. We just start, like, live together as husband and wife. And after we married, like, one or two months, she decides she can't. And she went back to United States. I don't want that to happen again. This time, I will love Nicole to sit more and be sure she can handle it. What's this, honey? It's just like coffee. Oh, it's cool. Look at those like chandelier things. Yeah. Do we go in? I don't know if like more loud. Let's just try. Okay, I just want to sit down. Okay, honey. Okay? Let's we do. Okay. There are some places in Egypt for just for men, especially when it's an area like where I am, like. All the cafe the most for men. And you've seen, seen the woman, like, why? I felt like this is so weird for sure. We should be not here in a call. But like if like I said no, maybe she get mad, we fired. So, okay, let's we try. What's that, Noor? Well, like, I don't know, Madam Adi, to Allah, I have a mushkila. Tislam. Lana, Bessa, Bessa, Shan. Kalam. Tislam. So, from. Ask him if you're allowed to sit here or not. He said yes. Okay. Yeah, this sounds good. He can understand you're not Egyptian. Is it like really serious? I mean, is it? Yeah, yeah like normal don't do that here. Like zero coffee, like for man and woman, like that is special for just, just for be mad. Why? We have like different way respect women. So like yeah. dear woman, be more careful, wash my world. But if me and my friend, go, oh, we be more free. Like oh, like say some like you be say that? Yeah, it's like it's have more fun. Can I meet your friends sometime? <laughs> it will be where? Where where? Really? Yeah. I just want to like know who you like go out with and hang out with and that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't think this can happen. No? No way. Part of my struggle in Egypt is I don't have any friends. And I've never met any of his friends. I think I've seen their faces at our wedding before, but the wedding was sort of a blur. I don't really remember. It's not like I spoke to them. Okay, my friend is here. Hi. Salam alaikum. Sorry, <laughs> 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 
كان من بدري ولا؟ يعني بقالنا شوية كده. رجالة. They are like have one hour waiting. Oh, I'm an asshole. Okay, no problem. No problem. اللي احنا نتعزم واحد صاحبنا يعزمنا هو ومراته على العشاء دي اول مره حد خفيف على القلب زي ما بيقولوا كده ولكن احنا كنا متوترين متوترين After I'm sitting with my friend now I'm not being nervous anymore but like okay they nice to me they nice to my wife but I love to Nicole she's like have that look And I know how what means this lock when she's locked like that. I said, I, what? Say no, nothing. I love you. What do you want to say? Nothing. It's okay. What? I mean, it's fine. I mean, I feel like kind of a little like uncomfortable. I know. Yeah. Let's use the one always. Want to see how me around my friend? I wasn't nervous at all before I got here. Now I'm I'm so nervous. I felt like she want to say to her, said, what I did to myself, why I'm here now. I just want to leave, actually. I am feeling very shy right now, but I don't even know what's even appropriate to ask because I don't, I don't want to offend anybody or like cross any cultural boundaries. Tell them, Anna Mabsuta. Anna Mabsuta. And you should talk to And you should talk to And you should We too, happy. Okay, good. Yeah. So now you feel more comfortable? I feel more. Yeah, I feel better. Okay, now. good. Yeah. Yeah. And now I know that I need to listen to my husband when he says that, you know, these things are normal because he's right. It was awkward and and now I don't I don't think we need to do that again. Everybody's finished with their food? You know, just eat first. And so much. I'm still worried that uh, my time in Egypt will be isolating. And I really need to find a way to be myself here. You think I should change my clothes before we go to your uncle's? You know, you can wear whatever you want. Mm -hmm. It's cover your budget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that was the first time I've ever heard those words come out of your mouth. You can wear whatever you want. But maybe you think to cover your hair today? I'm not covering my hair ever. OK, sweetie. I give you. Your time about that? You're giving me my time about that? Is that what you just said? Yeah, me? you all said like never going to do it. I will never do it again. Yeah. You can say that. I wore hijab for maybe a year. It's really, really, really hot, uncomfortable. And Mahmoud wouldn't let me go outside the house without it on properly, or if, if even one hair was poking out. I felt like I betrayed myself, and there's honestly no worse feeling than that. I mean, I think they are beautiful. Like, I really do. Yeah, yeah. I just don't I... like to, It's really uncomfortable for me. Yeah. OK, my love. You can say, but you will do. That's not true. <laughs> it's not true, honey. No. Well, you promised me before, so. You have also went back on your promises, because at, at one point, like, when we were first together, you decided, at least when I'm in America, that I could wear I said a short like that. sleeve. Yeah, I said yeah. here, yeah. yeah like, no, you said, like, here. Oh. And even all the times we video chatted in the summers when I was in LA and stuff, I would have short sleeves on, and you know that. N like, never yes, you, you no. You, you yes. always show me like, oh, you wearing jacket there, like you always. No, do that's that. not true. I would no, be wearing short sleeves. You never things, showed yeah. me that. Yes, I did. You never did. Yes, I did. You never did. So now it's yeah. come up. So this bad way. Mahmoud, like, you know that. Like, you, you never did that. I did. You never did that, Nicole. I did. No. Short sleeves, yes. This, no, yes, um, yes. No. Yes. No. And you never yes. talk about that. No. Yes, no. yes, yes, always. No, no. Yeah, you Not did. this true. Yeah. No. Yes. No. So now you can decide I'm serious about the clothes. Because no way. No way what? I told you before, and I'm still keeping saying that this is how I am, and I'm never going to change my mind about that. Nicole. I'm never going to change my mind about it. No, either. so why you promised me before? Before we were married? Because I didn't know. I think we not can be together. So. 
you can't be with me, you can't be with me, but don't have me come here and like work really hard and then just be like, ugh, I don't wanna be with you because you can't. I don't wanna talk anymore, I'm serious. I'm done. Okay, good. Every single time, I'm like, okay, maybe we could compromise. This conversation goes exactly like this. Just feel like all alone, right? Like, because when he pulls away from me, it's like, it's just, it's just me. It's too much. I'm like, I can't make him happy. And there's like the most problem with me right now. Because sometimes I feel like I'm not the right person. 